So we spent the best $20 we've ever spent in our life. For sure. So that $20 that we spent, which is our the best $20 we've ever spent, you're gonna have to wait until later on. And we'll tell you what where that was. Or what it was what for. It was for. But first we want to tell you about a fun place we went to visit and we've there's one not too far from home that we've always talked about, but we've just never been. First of all, I didn't think it was gonna be fun. So we were staying at a Thousand Trails Park that previously was not my favorite park. They have been doing some upgrades. I still don't think it's where it needs to be, but that's a side note. It's on its way and the new manager there is great and she's really working hard to make some changes. And that Thousand Trails is in Fair Play, South Carolina, which if you're not familiar, oh, also it's called Carolina Landing, that's the name. If you're not familiar with where that is, it's right on the South Carolina Georgia line. So while we were there, we had some plans that evening, but we didn't have anything fun to do during the day. So So we went digging around for something fun to do. And, and my daughter-in-law's from Atlanta, which isn't too far from there. So they picked this place and I said no. But we all said yes. Well, he was a hard no. Brandon, my son, was kind of a, eh, if that's what y'all want to do. But my daughter-in-law, Katie, and myself were all in. So all in. the girls won. Don't they always? And we went to visit the Lake Hartwell, Lake Hartwell Safari Park, I think is what it was called. So it's one of those drive-through zoos where, you know, you, you pay like per person and in your vehicle you drive through and now, they now remember i have a 2021 <laughs> brand new truck that he's a little obsessed over um and the animals come up to your come car come up to the car you buy buckets of feed and they come up to the windows and they have all kinds of cool animals they had emus there's and no such thing as a cool animal ostriches and deer and they had a zebra named taco how cool is that and buffalo, which are very friendly. They like to come up close to the truck. Water buffalo, some animals that I don't even know what they were. Um, don't make fun of me, but you know, the things that look like cows, but they have, they weren't cows. They had some great big horns. like Big horns that like to bump your car. One dude's horns were so big. They weren't really wide, but they were so big. But he couldn't get, even get his head in the door for you to feed him because his horns were so big. But anyway, so... He's not sticking his horns in my truck. <laughs> we had <laughs> the best time. Katie and I had the best time interacting with the animals because they were all so cool and they stick their little noses or very big noses right now, in the window. I did have some fun because I did take some of the food and I threw it in Katie's she was sitting in front of me so i put it in her seat and emus and whatever the ostrich was... so apparently katie does not like ostriches and let's be real they're kind of aggressive and although they don't have teeth but one of them bit my finger their beaks they're pretty yeah so one of them because jimmy was being cute <laughs> stuck his head in and got his finger and then drug it down his almost finger. had ostrich soup that night he whined the rest of the day about his finger and the rest of us wouldn't feed it but he thought it was funny that katie was afraid of the ostrich so he would hold food because he was sitting brandon and katie were in the front we were in the back he would hold food behind katie's head so that the ostrich would try to get in there or he would toss it up so it landed in her lap she literally would come across the vehicle trying to get away from the ostrich, ostrich. That was... <laughs> no 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 oh you no, got a no. bunch of you were sitting on two no 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 <laughs> it's on the floor it's on the floor no it's on not the they're under you. no 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 oh. no 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 <laughs> Brandon, no. Brandon, no. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Look at this little guy. His lip is quivering. No, no. No. No, no. No. <laughs> Brandon, it's not funny. 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 Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the other side of the car. Look at this one coming over here, Katie. It's um, Herbert's brother. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, just do what you're gonna do and leave me alone. Okay, you gotta get off me for real. Okay, you gotta let me roll up the window. Jimmy, then. You gotta back up. 
I can't okay. drive until you go with me. Okay, go, 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 go. Hi, it's distracting. Hi. No, oh, it's, no, it's not hard to stick your head in here. My mom's petting Herbert, bro Herbert's brother. That was the best part. No, the soft furry fuzzy guys were the best part. No, that was the best part. And they would stay right with our car. And One like, of them actually followed us like halfway through. Katie named him. I don't remember what she named him, but she gave him some name and he stayed right in her window. And as we're slowly moving along the road, he's slowly moving along with us. So that was pretty funny. Hello. Excuse Where me. Where is that one in my right, Katie? I can't see. It's, you're passing it. You're cute, you're good. And there was this little buffalo. He was so cute. He stuck his head in Brandon's window. Is that the one that had the big long tongue? Yes. And for anybody that's ever been to any kind of zoo where you can get near the giraffes, you know how they have that great big, I think it's usually black or purple, this big long tongue. Giraffes would like reach look down at, and look grab. Look at the facial expressions. It's so gross. Yeah, but we had to keep feeding it. But though. the giraffe, unlike this little buffalo, the giraffe just has this long tongue and he reaches down and takes the food. This buffalo has this really long tongue. Here's your... <laughs> Let me help you. That tongue. <laughs> All that. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> you just dropped it in. <laughs> that tongue. Meanwhile, here's Herbert. And he's like drooling and slobbering. So you can't even like get the food to him without him drooling all over you. But which, did you stop feeding him? Of course not. But he would turn his tongue and you could just toss the treat and it would land right in the bottom of his mouth. So you didn't have to touch the drool. But if you tried to pet him, he would let you, but then he would butt his head into Against the side. The car. Of the vehicle. Yeah, not happening. No. <laughs> Time to leave. Well, you can't just leave. I mean, once you pull in the gate, you have to stay on. And it was. I have four wheel drive. I could put it in four wheel drive and we can drive through the field and just get out. But no. So I think going. it was like $15 a person. Okay, for the tickets for this thing. And I will say, you know, a lot of times at amusement parks or stuff like that, you feel like you've paid this per person entry or, you know, for tickets or whatever. And it seems like you don't really feel like you got your money's worth. We got our $15 Hold per on, person we have, we have money's visitors. worth. Oh, here's a horse. There was One, not a horse. Once again, we're, we're somewhere else has animals. We're at Settler's Post. <laughs> Harvest host visiting that's, the Clydesdale. That's not a Clydesdale. I'm not even sure if y'all can see that horse, but that's one of the other horses that's boarded here. So anyhow, side note. Squirrel um, or yeah, horse. Whatever. Animal. Um, this place was huge and once you went through the gate, like the animals greeted you, but it was kind of divided into sections and you took this long drive around path. Long drive around path. And saw all these cool animals. So it was really kind of cool. They had um, Camels were off in their own little containment area. You couldn't feed the them. The best place for them to be. And kangaroos, which I understand kangaroos the can boxers. be kind of aggressive, right? So they were in their own little area. You could see them, but you couldn't get to them to feed them. But everything else was fair game. You couldn't get out of your car. It's a good thing. <laughs> but they did, they did tell you that if you had an emergency <laughs> and you needed assistance to just honk, honk, honk the horn. Just keep honking the horn. Don't get out of your vehicle. Um, because we I tried guess that, but nobody came. Although they all came and acted like they were pets, at the end of the day, they are probably still considered wild animals, so they don't want you to get hurt. I don't know if you know what a wild animal is. No, because I just like all animals, and if they'll let me get close enough to oh, pet there them. There he is. There he goes. See? He wants to be in the video. Anyway, so we just wanted to tell you guys about the Lake Hartwell Safari Park, and if you're ever down there, it's like right at the South Carolina Georgia line. You Don't should go. definitely check it Don't out. Go. I think it was only like $15 a person, and then you had to buy like a little bucket of food. So maybe it was even $10 a person. I don't know. And you got this little bag of food um, that they all would eat it. And bonus for my best $20 I've ever spent. When you get there and you buy your tickets Hold and you on. buy your feed, I didn't have to drive my truck through there. 20 bucks you can use one of their vehicles thank god because they beat the hell out of that car 
he there was... is slobber all the way down in the door handles. There is Boy. slobber all down the side of the panels. There is... So we had like a, a Hyundai Santa Fe or something, and it was an old beater car, and that's Oh, fine. it was beater. Thank God that was an option because, can I just tell you, oh, this man hot. right here would have had a total stroke. Stroke. So if I know, we had been driving his truck I, I and do those know animals would have bumped into the I side I do know it. for now and if we ever do one of these things, we're going to call first and say, hey, do you have rental cars? Because I'm not driving my truck. Because I don't think the one near our house, or not near our house, but in our home state, I don't think they have that option. Now, there so, were some people bringing in some nice cars yeah, People there, coming in in brand new vehicles they must and not these care animals about their just cars. all up against them. Yeah, so that's a whole other thing. But if you're ever there, I highly recommend going to visit it. Don't go. But take the extra 20 or $25. We're still debating how much it was. But at it any wasn't rate, the best thing in the world for me, but it was a lot of laughs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Watch him. He's going to hit it with his horn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to put that away. <laughs> he just wants you to throw it in his, face, in his mouth, Brandon. Here. I'm sorry, Herbert. Jesus, man, we, we've got we got like six thousand pounds of animals. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, put, put yeah, take, go back to the back window. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird creature! Look at his tongue. What a weird animal. <laughs> Herbert, you're my best friend. I'm so glad I got a normal critter to stick into. What are you doing with that top? You're just a big... We, we, we laughed, laughed so hard. Especially when they come out the car and Katie's telling Brandon, Brandon, go, go. He says, I can't. There's, there's another a, one in front of there's me. There's something in front of me. I'm going to run him over. I can't run over the ostrich, Katie, just to get away from this, this buffalo. <laughs> I'm glad he's got his horse or else he'd be in my lap. No, don't quit looking at my shirt. Now I got this one in front of me. <laughs> There's two laying down on the road in front of us. You yeah, I mean, I got this. Him. And you feed him. I... No, we... Oh, God, they steam. No, this one will get out of the road, out of the way. Like, I can't. Uh... I don't want... But anyway, so we share all kinds of stuff with you guys, but it's always fun to share something that we had a fun experience, even though some of us didn't really want to go. I had fun. He was a good sport, and he had a good time, if not because of the animals, because he had a good time laughing. I laughed laughing at the stuff that was going on inside the car. At us inside the car. Especially when you drop a piece of food and they the stick animals. their head all the way in there and try to get to the floorboard, and it wasn't my car. So it didn't More matter. fun. Yeah, so anyway, it was a great time. Um, if you've been anywhere fun like this, again, we're trying to head west next year. Like we need Texas, ideas for Arizona. West. So if there's anything fun that you've done, maybe not a drive through Safari Park, but just something really fun. And, something and that won't tear my truck up. Not very expensive. I think it was 50 bucks for the two of us. We paid for the two of us, the vehicle, and two bags of feed, and it was 50 bucks. If so, you wouldn't eat all the food, we wouldn't. I'm just saying, I feel like that was a good deal. I know we were there for at least an hour, maybe longer. We had the best time, got the best videos and pictures. So if there's something we need to check out between Virginia or I guess Florida and Texas, Arizona, heading out that way, that is equally fun, I mean, if it involves animals, that's a bonus. Comment below and let us know, cause I'm all in. <laughs> He's all in too, he just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. That's, that's right. That's where I'll go. Happy wife. So until you find us going through this safari again and tearing up somebody else's car. Safe travels, y'all. <laughs>